Hello techies. Welcome back to Power Automate Desktop Tutorials. In the previous tutorial, we have learned how to launch a new browser by using launch new Internet Explorer or Firefox or Google Chrome or Microsoft Edge. And after that, we have seen how to close the instance of the browser by using close web browser. Now, in this tutorial, we will learn how to fill the web form by using these actions such as focus text field on web page, populate text field on web page, set checkbox state, select radio button, set drop down list value on web page, and also we will see how to press a button on web page by using web form filling actions. All right. First of all, let me start with focus test field on web page. All right, let me drag and drop this action onto the workspace. First of all, we'll see the parameters. What are the parameters that we have? First one, web browser instance. As I said, we can have multiple instances based on the browser. Right now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to work on the Google browser, right? So that the instance I have selected on as Google browser, and after that, UI elements. If the UI element are not added as part of this UI elements action group, then in that case that we can add by selecting add new item. Let me click on that. Once you click the add new UI element, it will start tracking session, right? Now what I will do, I need to select that tracking session. All right, now if you see over here on my screen, I'm having input text. So that I'm going to select input text as employee name. You can see over here, employee name, input text. So select control on the keyboard and click left click on the mouse. Now, if you see over here, what happened? Input text employee name has been captured. This is for the employee name that is for the text field purpose. All right. Now, what you will do, click on done. Now, if you see over here, focus text field on the web page, what it will do, it will just focus which text that you are going to give it as the input element. All right. Now, let me click on save. Now, let's run the flow to see the output. But before that, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to close this browser because of to make you understand, I don't want to close this browser. All right. Let me disable this action and let's run the flow to see the output. Flow execution started. It has opened a new window, which is in the maximized state. If you see over here, this has been coming in yellow state because of the text box has been highlighted or focused by using the action that is focus text field on the web page. This is for the just to focus the text which you are going to enter. All right. Now let's assume if I want to enter some data or to populate some data into the particular text field. In that case, we are going to use populate text field on web page action. Let me drag and drop this action that is populate text field on the web page. Now, if you see the parameters over here, this is a default parameter that what we have for each and everything that is web browser instance. I have selected Google Chrome that is Google browser and the UI element. Now UI element over here, if you observe, I have already captured the employee name, right? For that, I need to enter the employee name in the particular input field that is input text employee name. I'm going to select that. And then in the text area, I want to enter the values. I will say employee name as Amir Basha. And after that, if you see over here, the emulate type, it has to show in a such a way it is in typing way. Over here, I'm going to give it as enable. And after that, advanced. So what is this advanced? Unfocus the text box after filling that. So what did this mean once it has been focused that I want to remove that unfocusing so that I will enable and disable this. And after that, if you see, wait for page load. So if there is any kind of such an action based on the text box, if there is some action has to be done in that case, I will use wait for page load, but right now I don't have anything. So I will make it disable over here. And after that, if once it has been enabled, you will get some kind of pop-ups. As we have seen in the previously, we have to close the pop-ups, press button or do nothing. All right. 
I will keep it as is over here with the parameters. I don't want to make any changes over here. And after that, what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on save. All right. Now I will show you what kind of text it is going to be entering into the text field by running the flow. Flow execution started and you can see it has been the window has been maximized and you can see over here it has been populated and after that in the yellow color it has been typed the data as Amir Basha P and after that if you observe once the data has been filled all right now I will show you how to work with radio button for an example in my web page that I'm having two radio buttons over here one is for the gender male another one female when you are filling this by using web automation we have to select any one of the radio button over here how can we go ahead and do that by using power automate desktop there we are having one action that is set radio button on web page that is the web action let me drag and drop this web action onto the workspace now over here I'm having the parameters, default parameter web browser instance. I'm going to select this Google browser and after that UI element. As of now, for the radio buttons, I have not captured any kind of UI element. So that let me drop this. I'm going to select add new UI item. Once you select that one, over here you can find the radio buttons. Please select that and you will find input radio at gmail that gmail is nothing but idea of this mail in a such a way i'm going to select the female also that you can see gender female all right let's click on done all right now if you see once again you will drop down the ui item that i want to select any one of the item right input radio i'm going to select as gmail and then we are going to talk about the advanced parameters so if there is any page loading has to happen based on the gender or the based on the radio button then wait for the page load i'm going to enable it in a such a way if a pop-up dialog box appears i'm going to do the same thing all right let me click on save now to see the radio button let's run the flow to see the output flow execution started and you can see at the first step we have selected the employee name as Amir over here and after that if you observe the gender we have selected as male it's automatically it's given the it's automatically it selected the male all right let me close this now I will make a small change over here now I want to select gender as female over here let me select the input radio over here as female and then I'm going to click on save now let's run the flow to see the output for the female for the gender perspective all right flow execution started if you see over here employee name has been populated and now if you see the gender has been selected as female okay based on the input type which you have given as part of the select radio button for web page let me close the browser now if you observe in the radio button i can select only single one or single option at the same time whereas if i want to select multiple options in that case we are going to use set checkbox state on the web page let me go back to my application once again over here if you see the departments i'm having it medical software these are all the departments which i have i can select multiple departments at the same time over here i have used the check boxes now how can i go ahead and do that over here I'm having one of the web form filling action that is set checkbox state on the web page. Let me drag and drop this set checkbox state action onto the workspace after the radio button. Now, if you see the parameters over here, I'm having web browser instance as the default UI element. What is the UI element? As of now, I have not captured the UI elements for the checkboxes. So that what I'm going to do, I'm going to add a new item. Over here, you can see the input type checkbox I don't have let me click on add a new UI element click on that let's capture the checkboxes UI elements I'm going to select IT over here by clicking on control and left click of the mouse and you can see that I'm going to get the department that is department medical as well as department IT 
I have captured all three departments that is first one department IT, department medical and department software. All right, let's click on done. Now over here, what I'm going to do, I'm going to select which department that I need to fill as part of the UI element. I'm going to select over here as department IT. And if you see another parameter, checkbox state, there are two options that we have. One is check, another one is uncheck. The purpose of this one is, if the checkbox is already checked, in that case, if you want to uncheck that cell, checkbox, in that case, you are going to use the option unchecked, or else if you want to check that particular box as check, then in that case, you are going to use checked option. All right, let's click on save. Now we are having the option to select multiple option for the checkbox, right? Now, if you see over here, I have selected department IT. In the same way, if I want to select another department that is department medical, so that I'm going to copy this action and then I'm going to paste in the same workflow. All right, now I'm going to change the UI element over here as department medical. And then the checkbox state, I'm going to give it as check. All right, let's click on save. Now let's run the flow to see the output. Flow execution started and you can see employee name has been focused and you can see gender as male and the departments IT and the medical has been selected automatically. Let me click on close. Now we will learn another action as part of the web form filling that is set drop down list value on web page. Let me show you why it is required. If you see in the project, we are having job location over here. If you see in the job location, I'm having a drop down value where we are having the locations over here like Chennai, Bangalore, Pune, Mysore and Chandigarh. Based on the values which you are going to provide, I need to capture that UI element. And after that, I want to provide the data inside the drop down list as part of the set drop down list value on web page action. All right, let me drag and drop this action onto the workspace. Now I'm having the same parameters like web browser instance, UI elements. And after that, one more parameter that we have operations. First of all, we'll see about the operation. If you drop down that, I'm having clear all options, select option by name, select option by index. So select option by name, when you select this select option by name, you can provide the name over here. If you see in my job location, I'm having Chennai, Bangalore and so on, based on that names that you are going to select the value. Or else if the index 0, 1, 2, 3 and so on, you will select based on the index. All right, now I'm going to specify the names over there. Let me select the option name as Pune. All right, before that, I have not captured this UI element for the dropdown. Let me select the UI element. And after that, I'm going to add a new UI element. Click on that. Over here, I, I am going to select this value over here as the dropdown list. Let me select that by clicking on Control and left click. You can see over here, I got this select default value as of now. For the dropdown, we required select value. Let's click on done. Now we have given the parameters operation as select options by name and the value I have given as Pune. All right. Now, if you see the advanced, I have the same parameters which I have commonly for the other actions. Let's click on save. All right. Let's run the flow to see the output. Flow execution started. And you can see it has been filled employee name, gender, departments and after that if you observe job location Pune has been selected as part of this set drop down list value on web page all right let me close this now what we will do based on the index that we are going to select the location how we can do that in the operations select by option by index that I'm going to give it I'm going to give the index as two over here and then I'm going to click on save. Now, based on the index, let's run the flow to see the output. Flow execution started. 
and you can see it is started filling the data and after that if you see the location of the chennai is 2 default is 1 chennai is 2 bangalore is 3 so that it's started filling the data based on the index basis and then you know based on the index it has been selected value 2 that is chennai from the drop down list all right now last but not least we will learn about the press button on web page what is the purpose of this when i have filtered all the data in my particular web page and after that i need to insert the data or to add the data to the database if you observe the application we have given the mandatory fields over here like employee name and after that will provide our employee number and the respective department fields and after that once we have done it we will click on the submit button right to click on the submit button or to press the submit button we will use press button on web page action before that what i'm going to do i'm going to take one more popular text field because of i'm having email id over there let me select ui elements let me select email id from my project now let me drag and drop this press button on web page action onto the workflow over here we'll see the parameters first one is default one that is google browse another one ui element let me go for that over here i don't have any input or you know submit button i don't have the ui elements as part of this ui elements now i want to add that new ui element over here i will select this ui element as submit if you see input is submit over here let me click on done now i have already selected that one if you see the advanced i have the as usual and after that if you see at the end of the page i need to wait for the page to load all right let me click on save i have provided all the required information for the web page to click for to click submit button all right now let's run the flow to see the output flow execution started and if you see it started filling the data automatically like employee name employee number gender departments even if you see after finally it has been clicked on the button that is submit button finally you can see after successful submit button it's given the message like thank you all right let me close this now we have launched new google chrome instance and after that we have worked on the text field radio button check box drop down list press button and also we have seen close the web browser also let me enable as a final step over here to enable to close the web browser and once again let me show you how the data is filling automatically by using web form filling let's run the flow flow execution started and you can see over here it started filling the data once it has been filled all the required it will click on submit button once you click on submit button it has been given in a such a way it has opened the success page that is thank you and then at the end of the close browser it has been closed the browser which are related to the google chrome all right i hope you understand how to work with focus test field on web page populate text field on web page and select radio button set checkbox select set drop down list value actions and also we have seen how to press button on web page by using different web form filling actions thank you for watching power automate tutorials if you have any queries related to this concept please post them in the comment section i will see you in the next session till then bye bye have a wonderful day